A bit over the top for my first SFM, but I think you get the point. The Righteous Bison is the cool laser pistol for Soldier to accompany his cool laser rocket launcher. Unfortunately, unlike the cool laser rocket launcher, the Righteous Bison is not a good weapon for Soldier. In fact, it's the worst unlock in his secondary slot. And to evaluate what's a good secondary for Soldier, let's talk about what Soldier's roles are. He makes space for his team by rocket jumping around, gaining ground for his team, diverts attention while rocket jumping, does a ton of damage when played optimally, and he can spread out that damage for his teammates to clean up on through splash damage. Any unlock that can aid in these roles, or make Soldier, and to a larger extent his team, more sustainable are fantastic. So what are the types of secondaries for Soldier? First, you have the self-utility through the gunboats, which I already made a video on, man treads, and base jumper. Second, you get team utility through the Conqueror, Buff Banner, and Battalion's backup. And third, a fast or reliable backup that deals damage through the Shotgun, Panic Attack, and the Reserve Shooter. The Bison is supposed to fit into this third category, but it can't compete. In fact, the competition isn't even close. Just like the Pomps and Rescue Ranger for Engineer, the stats for the Bison are not straightforward due to the change from being hit scan to a projectile. Because of this, certain stats don't actually make sense, or aren't listed at all, even if they should be, such as the 33% smaller magazine size, 28% slower firing speed, or the 8% faster first reload, and 20% faster consecutive reloads. Oh, and the negative 66% damage penalty. So, let's just look at the upsides of the Bison. The first most noticeable upside is that it has unlimited ammo, which isn't really relevant on Soldier, it just clears up a mild inconvenience, if anything. Keep in mind that Soldier, if he's doing his job correctly, is going to be picking up ammo all the time, whether that's from walking over the ammo dropped from killed enemies, or from ammo packs located next to health. And if you have a secondary weapon as Soldier, it's far more likely that you're going to run out of rocket ammo before you run out of secondary ammo, which is by design, meaning that you'll probably head to an ammo source, which will replenish both, so you should always be topped off on your secondary ammo. Next is that the Bison can't be reflected or deleted by the short circuit. Besides one use case that I'll mention later, this is also not a real upside for the Bison, because shotgun pellets, due to being hitscan, are the same way. It's an upside for a projectile, but not for the slot itself. Lastly, there's the real main upside of the weapon. What gets Bison worshippers up in the morning? The projectile penetration. Being able to shoot through people is one of the most underrated mechanics in TF2. For Pyro, it means that you get guaranteed damage on whoever you're targeting. With the Machina, it leads to cool collats, and for the Bison, it means that you occasionally do a good amount of damage. Especially when, every once in a while, for some inexplicable reason, the Bison will do double damage if you hit someone diagonally. I don't know why it happens, it just does. I had a Badwater game where it happened a few times, but you can see the problem I had with Relive and why I'm using OBS now. So you can unintentionally do more damage, but the Bison also prevents anyone from body blocking damage something that becomes far more common in higher level play. Because of this, the Bison outshines any of the other secondaries in long range spam, where it outdamages any shotgun. The first thought here is to use the Bison as a long range spam weapon on an objective like a payload cart or a control point, then bomb into the point destroying anyone who took damage from your secondary. Uh, no. For one, the Bison does absolutely pitiful damage, and at long range you'd be doing at best 30 damage assuming it connects perfectly, and you don't hit at a weird angle that only connects once. But more likely, you'd be doing zero. The reason being that the bison moves as slow as fucking molasses. If players notice that you're firing in their direction, it's extremely easy for any class to move out of the way due to the lack of speed. Then if you do bomb in, you're going to be taking around 40 damage from your rocket jump, then taking fall damage, and then not actually having a backup weapon if you need it after you bomb. If you had any other secondary, you'd be better off doing the same strategy. And if you were a sane player, you'd instead just be spamming rockets from long range rather than the bison, because splash is far more likely to do any damage. Now wait, isn't the bison good with crits? I hear this said pretty often when discussions about the bison are had, but the issue is that every weapon in TF2 benefits from being crit boosted. It's a bit of an issue in the community that I see relatively often, especially when it comes to weapons that generally underperform. Players, instead of playing normally and using the best item at that time, will brainlessly use an item, in this case, the Bison, and just spam it for 20 minutes without using their rocket launcher. 
This isn't how anyone actually plays if they're trying to be effective. You need to evaluate how good a weapon is through playing normally with it, and thinking if the weapon actually made the difference. If you're fighting someone with a bison and get the enemy down to 1 HP and finally kill him with the bison, yeah, the bison did get a kill right there. But any of the shotguns would have also done the same thing and probably would have been more generally useful. The bison does have one specific niche though. Spawn camping right after setup time when a bunch of short circuit engineers are spamming their spawn doors to negate crit rockets. But that's pretty much where the actual utility of the bison ends. After that, you'd just be better off with a crit shotgun, since then not only do you have hit scan and likely higher damage, but you also have two extra shots before you have to reload. That's also not even mentioning the extremely small map pool that the crit's bison actually helps, with the best example being Dust Bowl. Most maps added in the last eight years will have multiple spawn exits that players will actually take rather than just funneling all players through one or players subconsciously going through just one. Which brings me to consistency. Usually when you hear the word tossed around, it's about random crits or to a lesser extent, random bullet spread. But in this case, I wanna talk about projectiles. Any high level TF2 player or any high level arena shooter player knows that hitscan is far better than any projectile, assuming the same damage. So to offset the disadvantage of using projectiles, most projectiles deal far more damage than hitscan and have various levels of speed. On Soldier, this has already been experimented with, with only two rocket launchers having higher projectile speed. The direct hit, with the speed bonus complementing its lack of splash damage and high damage on directs, and the Liberty Launcher, where the speed bonus actually hinders it as a rocket jumping tool, making the weapon worse. What does this have to do with the Bison? The Bison is the only projectile secondary for Soldier, and because of that, whenever you equip it, you have to manage two different types of projectile speed, one of which you likely rarely use. The first being the projectile speed of your rocket launcher, and the other being the slightly faster speed of the Bison. I don't want the Bison projectile to get a mild speed buff, the bison would benefit greatly by moving significantly faster with only a little bit less damage than the shotgun. This is also one of the problems with the Pompson, except that it's not the only projectile primary for Engineer, and should move at the same speed as the Rescue Ranger Bolt due to NGs being accustomed to that projectile speed, which just so happens to be double the speed of the Pompson and Bison's laser. And somewhat like the Pompson, the bison's damage is wildly inconsistent, even on stationary players in testing environments. I mean, just look at this one clip. I got all of these engineers spawned in on TR walkway just so anyone else can replicate it. They're all evenly spaced apart, and when I fire the bison, I kill one of the engineers in the middle? Why? And this is on a local server. There's no weird ping issues or server jank going on here. It's just the bison being the bison. As an aside, I often hear that the bison was nerfed because of it being really good in competitive situations. But as someone who's been playing Sixes, Highlander, and Prolander, with Sixes as my main for years now, I can't imagine the Bison ever being good. When asking around and looking through forums, the only mention of the Bison is a meme strategy where you'd use crits on it through the choke on Badlands. But that's literally it. There's no footage from scrims to back it up, just a mention and a pug clip. The only footage of the bison I could find competitively was pointed in my direction from Grape Juice, who mentioned that Grape had a frag video with the bison in it, and that's pretty much it. There was actually one other funny video about the bison getting stuck on maps though. Anyway, I know that talking about how the bison's multi-hit should function is a touchy subject, but if the way that the projectile damage was calculated was made consistent while also getting a significant speed buff, the bison would become a far more usable weapon. And I'm not alone in thinking this. Even though I'm not generally a fan of them, every single balance mod out there I could find also removes the multi-hit. The bison can still maintain its identity of hitting multiple people and would become the only soldier weapon that couldn't be body blocked, but just wouldn't have the multi-hit, resulting in a much better weapon overall. And I think that's what the TF team was trying to start going towards when they nerfed it in the first place. So what would the stats be if I had control of balance of the bison? Well, almost all of the changes would be to the hidden stats rather than the listed ones. So with all of them shown, here's what I got. Just like before, it doesn't require ammo. It penetrates enemy players and can't be deflected while only dealing 20% damage to buildings. 
I'd increase the projectile speed from 1200 hammer units to 2400 to match the rescue ranger and what speed the Pompson should also move at. Increase the damage from a negative 66% damage penalty to a minus 20% damage penalty. Remove the damage ramp up nerf, then remove all of the hidden reload and firing upsides and downsides. So why these specific stats? Well, I want the bison to actually have a niche outside of just spamming, and it could be fighting multiple people. For example, at point blank the bison would deal 72 damage instead of the shotgun's 90, but if you're trying to shoot the guy behind the guy in front of you, you're likely going to do 48 base damage to him rather than the zero you were going to do with hitscan, totaling to 120 damage. Can it hit absurd numbers? Yeah, for sure. If you have a crits and a bunch of people standing in the exact same place, but that's the case with any rocket launcher, or well, the current version of the bison. But it doesn't make the bison basically useless in any 1v1 situation like it is currently. Well, that's basically it. To close out, all I want to say is, change the bison in a positive way. It doesn't have to be a full-on commit towards what the meet your match bison was starting to go towards. It can also be the old bison, which, while not good, was better than it is currently. If you have a soldier item that you want me to cover next, just drop it in the comments, and I'll move it up in my list. Have a good night. No, and I leave. no it's not 40. He's like so low. Thank you. I hate that the scout spawns so fast, man. Uh, he just runs fast. He spawns at regular pace. <laughs> Except for the fifth. <laughs> oh my. What? I, I yeah, just, where were they? I the just watched the spawn, the scout spawn at that time. <laughs> no. Oh. I, I just Fraction watched them fucked. wait for you <laughs> guys. <laughs> <laughs> to walk by and try to just immediately just destroy Splash. What happened? <laughs> they just, in the corner. <laughs> they just oh, waited fine. in the corner. <laughs> We're corner creeps. <laughs> They're the corner creeps, dude. Fuck. <laughs>